सुनना इज लीगल सुनना एंड नॉन लीगल सुनना सुनना तशरिया सुनना गैर तशरिया सुनना तशरिया लीगल सुनना सुनना गैर तशरिया नॉन लीगल सुनना नाउ दोज दैट पार्ट ऑफ द सुनना हदीस हुई चीप हैज बीन नेरेटेड or narrated which has been narrated about the activities of the prophet as prophet or activity of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as qazi or activity of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as ruler as ruler that is legal sunna or the prophet sayings which he said as a prophet it appears from the context as a prophet or said as a qazi or a ruler that is legal sunna sunna tashriya and uh, but there is another part which is not legal sunna or sunna tashriya that is called sunna ghaira tashriya for example profiting sayings about medicine profiting sayings about agricultural um, uh, engineering or agricultural practice are not sunna according to majority according to majority usul yun prophet statements about medicine about agriculture for example do this or that in agriculture like for example don't use uh, this uh, for pollination or that for pollination these statements are not part of a legal sunna this the prophet said as a as a as a human being of that time he shared his own knowledge with others similarly the prophet's adat prophet adat or personal habits his style of sleeping his style of talking his style of eating his style of dressing all these are his personal habits these are not part of the legal sunna these are not binding on the ummah these are his personal habits or his habits he derived from the quraish or from the arabs unless prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said something that this is this you must do then that becomes even a personal matter then this becomes part of the legal sunna now i will go to mutawatir and ahad a classification of sunna called mutawatir and ahad now i come to mutawatir means uh, those traditions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which have been narrated or which have reached the collectors of hadith bukhari and muslim and others through many many chains and in first three generations then this generation of the sahaba and tabi'in and and tabi tabi'in where there are many many reporters not one not two not three 5 10 15 reporters in every every level or every stage that is called uh, mutawatir and such hadith are very few according to some there are only 5 or 10 or 15 such hadith according to some other may be 100 and may be 200 but not more the rest of the hadith about uh, i mean what is contained in the hadith literature is called zanni and now zanni as you say it is speculative zanni is speculative that is Uh, it is we cannot be as sure about zanni about uh, hadith transmitted by one person or two person as we can be sure about uh, about uh, a hadith narrated by 10 15 persons at every stage so ahad means ahad means hadith transmitted by one basically but sometime maybe two or maybe three but this is come under all this come under ahad and they give zanni knowledge not certain knowledge or not positive knowledge they are liable to interpretations and there may be two three four interpretation and nobody is under obligation to follow a particular interpretation he may follow another interpretation now the scholars have said aqida or faith or belief and punishments or hudud the punishments prescribed by god and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the place where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and 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 uh, and uh, um, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam these cannot be established 
unless the tradition or the narration or the or the hadith has been narrated by uh, i mean uh, by a mutawatir chain by mutawatir chain it will not be acceptable if it is through ahad now i would go to another important classification which is called sahi and zaif and mawzu mawzu is who is rejected mawzu means who is rejected now what is sahi sahi means uh, according to the compilers of hadith for example imam when imam bukhari says sahihul bukhari when imam bukhari says for example that uh, i have only collected sahih hadith that means he is he thinks he thinks that he is compile he has only compiled sahih hadith according to his judgment these are sahih he has according to his best judgment he this is selected the good reporters so it is sahih according to his judgment but others may not agree for example uh, there are there are people scholars great scholars like dara kutni great scholar like albani who have said that uh, a, a, a number of hadith in bukhari is a uh, zaif a number of hadith some has said 100 some has about 150 some has said about 40 are zaif so when we say sahi in bukhari it means uh, it means uh, sahi according to judgment of bukhari imam bukhari when i say sahi muslim that means sahi according to the judgment of imam muslim but imam muslim's hadith also some not many not many imam bukhari not many some of have been classified as not sahi by others so when we say sahi it means according to the compilers these are of high standard the chain is of high standard the narrators are of high standard but according to their judgment the judgment of that matan of those uh, sahi uh, yes matan means i, I mean know. i mean is though is those matan of the sahi hadith can be uh, weak yes i mean when uh, imam bukhari says it is sahi i think uh, he thought that both uh, riwaya or the narration and uh, uh, matan that the test was sahi he thought that but it is true that our great scholars in the early ages did not check so much uh, matan as they checked um, the sanad but again i must say when imam bukhari says something is sahi in his judgment this is sahi um, by matan and also by uh, by riwaya or chain of narration but i must say that uh, if any hadith examination is done of those uh, great uh, um, scholars then the examination must be both of the both of the isnad or sanad and of the matan or the text and uh, or sanad both of the isnad or sanad and of the matan or the text and uh, or sanad and of the matan or the text and uh, the, in fact many scholars are doing it i have found many books in which uh, um, some of the hadith have not been agreed to some of the hadith have not been accepted by great scholars like uh, dr karadavi for example i have seen in few instances i have seen sayyid maududi has not accepted one or two hadith uh, i mean in in his rasail masail and so this happens so matun checking is important i must tell my audience that uh, that hadith is uh, has to be accepted which is sahi correct both by matan and by isnad if something is not correct by matan or text if the text is um, uh, questionable on the basis of signs or if the text is questionable on the basis of clear reason clear akal then this is not acceptable so i think i have answered your second question and uh, what do you want to know more